Hi, and welcome back. Today, we have a true classic here. This is the Fender, made in Mexico, 60th anniversary road-worn 60s jazz bass. Whew! That's a mouthful, huh? But, uh, yeah, this bass was uh, created to commemorate the 60th anniversary of the jazz bass, which did come out in 1960. Uh, you can still get these around. This is still somewhat of a current uh, uh, model. It's still on Fender's webpage, so uh, you look fast. It's available in a couple different colors, this and vintage white. Um, but yeah, what do we got here? So this is meant to be kind of a, uh, it's a hodgepodge. Uh, first off, let's get the obvious thing out of the way. It's road worn. So it came from the factory like this with the wares. The interesting piece is the dulled out hardware. You can see the patina on the uh, on the tuning machine. So kind of gimmicky, but whatever, it works. The neck is nicely worn back. So you know it's meant to be like, hey, you walk, you you got an old looking base uh, for not having to worry about having a vintage one. It has nitrocellulose lacquer finish, which is very thin, which is what the original bases had. Uh, so this thing should actually even age more as it goes on. Uh, and uh, the neat thing about these is you don't know, uh, you put a ding in it, you don't know. So that's kind of nice. But anyways, other than that, as I said, this is kind of a hodgepodge of um, 60s Fender stuff. So the original jazz bass had volume and tone for each pickup, stacked knobs here. And the tone knobs are funky because they're kind of like, they have, uh, they're ratcheted. So each stop. So, I mean, if you're really anal, you can probably count how many clicks and remember that. Uh, so you get a little different sound than uh, the, uh, what became the jazz sound afterwards, which has two master volumes and a, ma a master tone. There's some funky things that kind of happen. So it's a little easier having the setup, the volume, volume tone set up over this. But, so you get a little different sounds. Um, it has a original style fender bridge, which had threaded saddles. The tuning machines are the big open back reverse ones. So you turn them opposite of how you would normally expect to. Uh, from what fender says, the neck profile is a mid mid sixties. So it's a little bit different than what would have come on it, but still incredibly thin pencil neck, uh, very fast, easy to play. Body is alder. The uh, only concession to modern times is that the fretboard is Poe Ferro, uh, which loosely translated means ironwood. It's a um, decent, solid wood. It uh, doesn't need a whole lot of care. Uh, the biggest knock against it is that it's lighter colored than rosewood, and a lot of people don't like the lighter. They're used to the darker rosewood, especially in an older base like this. If this was to be really accurate, the rosewood tends to get really dark from all the oils and all the aging aging that happens. So that's the one thing that kind of throws off the classic look to someone who may know better. But otherwise, I mean, very lightweight. This has to weigh under eight pounds. Um, very comfortable. And uh, 60s Fender uh, custom shop pickups. Um, and of course, you know, the torque. Um, pick card. Now to me, jazz bass is the bass that I've always been mostly drawn to. Uh, I've tried to bond with precision basses and all, and so uh, some of my jazz, my biggest bass heroes, not all of them, uh, uh, have played jazz basses. Uh, John Paul Jones is my biggest uh, influence, and he played a uh, 63 jazz bass for the majority of his career, which, um, yeah, so that kind of set it in my head. Tommy Shannon, Giddy Lee, um, just something about the jazz bass I really like. So, let's um, dive in and uh, check out some of the sounds. So, we're going through my Mesa WD-800, going pre-EQ, so you're getting the pure sound of the bass, while I'll be getting the beautiful sound of the uh, 112-210 stack. So, here are both pickups, full up, tone full up. jazz bass. 
Now I am going to roll off the volume completely on the bridge pickup. And this is the neck pickup tone full up. The bridge pickup, turn up all the way. Turn off all the way. Okay, so we have both pickups up all the way. We have the bridge with the tone off all the way and the neck with the tone up all the way. Both pickups tone both tones off all the way. Interesting. Like I said, you can get a lot of different uh, get a lot of different tones from just uh, messing around with the pickup selection. So here we are. Bridge up all the way, the tones both roll back a little, the neck pickup backed off a little. So this is. Neck up all the way, neck tone up all the way, bridge backed off a little, bridge tone off a little. Nice tone. So there you have it. The Fender 60th anniversary road worn 60s jazz bass. Right there. Hope you've seen the reflection of the camera. Don't know where that came up. There's your heel plate. Um, great value. Really gives you the feel of a 60s if that's what you want. Great vintage tones. A lot of different tones than an average jazz bass would have. Incredibly light. Pretty nice package. It comes with a uh, retro style Fender uh, plywood uh, case uh, like you would have had in the 60s. Um, decent deal. I think they go for around $1,300. Um, not bad if that's what you want to get. Uh, and for me, this is my jazz bass. So this one's mine. Uh, let me know. What do you think? Um, I, please hold off on the road war and hate. I see it all the time. It's just a style. You know, it's uh, the same as if, you know, my my purple bongo right it's just a different style but um see where they're going with it it's a decent aesthetic and i mean you just play the bass for what it is who really cares um and this is an excellent instrument uh it could do a lot worse but um yeah like comment subscribe check out my playlist of other reviews here uh like i said subscribe if you like and uh check out some other videos but um thanks a lot for coming by and rock on